Um, uh, no. Of course, yeah. But uh, I think Ben is a little more touchable than how he used to be. It used to be just, I think he lost once at the Descalay, a couple to average out of like 15. So it's like, you know, the more you play, the more someone kind of gets your number. Lost a few to CK. Um, lost well, a couple to Mikey. a lot of people lost it's like, before COVID hit. It's like, the, this, like with the sheer amount of uh, brackets that Ben entered, of course, the more you enter, the more you're likely to lose. But, uh, yeah, oh, I, I think the, uh, yeah, just... the spikes, though, the suicide spikes? Well, that was it, was, it, was, it was smart, yeah. There you go, there you go, all, there you go. All, uh, let's see how many viewers we have in stream. All three viewers, yeah. But hey, Still honestly, good. honestly, our streams meant a little bit more, more meant provides. And also, it's just kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, we used to not stream way back in the day. I mean, we started doing it. Got back a, in like, got what, a capture 2014, 15? No, I mean, uh, we didn't stream till, uh... Till I came out, right? Well, it was, uh... I think it was my fourth semester. So it was, um, 2018? Oh, yeah, it was around the time I came out. Yeah, something like that. We, we started streaming. Um, or maybe not. I forget. But, uh, but yeah. So, but we've been getting a stream here and there. Um, and so here we have Sonic. Is he going? Yeah, I bet he's going to go Pac-Man. His gunner kind of got trashed. All right, now so. Ben's going sickle mode with his actual name. So let's see. Yeah, well, Ben, he won all three games in in, uh, in Winner's Finals at Pac-Man. He tried to go with me I gunner. I was playing uh, with you, gunner. Well, he tried me gunner in game three. Got three stocks. So then um, he just reverse 3 0 it? No, like, he, he won 2 0, switched back to B Gunner, lost, switched back to Pac Man, won again. So, this is Fudge forcing out the main, some, something that no one else has done today. So, he can take pride in that, but hey, you, you don't want to take pride in forcing someone's main, you want to win. But Fudge does and have so, a good start, getting 33 on Ben, and Ben then yeah. turned back with a different The thing stop. is, like, I think Fudge, like, a big weakness of maybe is like, He's not playing around hybrid super well. At least not as well as Ben is. And that, that's the thing is like you have to either be even. Okay, I was mentioning that earlier. Dash back in their turnaround forward tilt. But uh Fudge is disciplined enough to hold shield. I think it's something to where he's not he's he's playing patient enough to oh, not. Oh, it's not even like dash track forward tilt. You can even do dash track there and he's super safe. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing, it's like that that's a classic bait that Ben does. And uh and Fudge being patient enough that even if he didn't know exactly that was coming. He's not just mashing escape options as quickly as possible. That was something we saw with uh, against uh, Sash. He wasn't just mashing it um, off the ledge. Going, yeah. The he favorite. wasn't mashing off the ledge, getting into that upbeat. But um, like, yeah, he's just able to. Uh, like, he's he's comfortable getting out of sticky situations, and that's the biggest thing. Um, unfortunately, the, the more you play Ben, the more he's going to put you in sticky situations. He's just gonna win neutral over and over and over. He doesn't even need to kill you all the time. He doesn't need to get all these damage. He's gonna charge fruit. And so that's a big thing is like where kinda of like out Cloud kinda of plays that way. There's more so in Smash 4. It's like he, if you don't approach him, charge his limit. And like if you don't you not like that anymore in this game. Yeah, not quite as much, but it used to be a huge thing in Smash 4. If you don't approach Pac-Man, he's gonna charge fruit. And of course, he doesn't always use it the best of his ability. The right thing right. is, he just uses it over and over and over. The, the more you try, the more likely you're through the yeah. bell. That was honestly surprising. I thought he was going to be hit by that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Pretty uh, generous ledge grab there, but also um, good angle from Fudge. Not the best coverage from Ben. Able to get back. The bouncing apple. See, it's had a surprising long time, and I think a lot of people kind of underestimate apple. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a solid, solid option. But, uh, but yeah. And yeah, I think Fudge's not quite ready to punish that. He probably didn't predict Ben to go for a uh, yeah, 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 it's it's a deceptively good option. And yeah, we're gonna see the, the, the zero to forty Galaga off ledge. That's something you gotta know. Ben's gonna do that. So you gotta respect. It. He's like, you know what? If you're on ledge, just go ahead and get off ledge. It's fine. And but unfortunately, um, that's not something killing. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was like one tip mid stage. Uh, one tip mid stage on PS. <laughs> yeah, that was. You know, he's. You know what's funny? I actually seen a clip of that with with, with Cloud. And Cloud was on the trampoline. He could constantly just side being Sonic. Okay. Like first side be first side be first side be, and then it ends up getting the limit. He drones him off. You know, that's funny. Yeah. It, it, it was literally a zero to death. It was so funny. I wonder if we see Ben use trampoline on stage mode because that really forces. 
uh, Sonic to have to get around it because you don't want to just bounce off of it. I'll tell you what would um, be super dangerous is that if, if, if this trampoline and hydrant had the same mechanics as it does in Flash 2, is what you can do. I think you can just... Flash 2? What? Why are so, we talking about Smash No, no, you'll, you'll see why because this is busted. This And if Pac-Man has this in Ultimate, this would be stupid. What you can do with Pac-Man and Super Smash Flash 2 is that you can literally pull up the trampoline Throw the hydrant on there and it will just keep bouncing on the trampoline. Yeah, that, that is not that long. But yeah, the classic jump hydrant out of its done. That's something, uh, it's like a, it's a stall and fall, but it's not even like. Catches the bell, it's, 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 it's a projectile. Soon. And, uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> good attempt there, you know. Certainly, he's not as comfortable as Ben is. Um, he does catch him with Bear, but right now he has to make a huge gum bag with five percent of it. Thing is, this time is getting pretty low. It's a, uh, it's over halfway, and Ben is not over yeah, halfway. I just know it's under three minutes. Now. Yeah, yeah, that's something to wear. So, and like the thing is, they haven't been camping. It's like it's, it's a classic, like a slower matchup, because they're not able to combo each other that well. So even though they're fighting each other a lot, they're just not able to uh, get a lot of kills early. And so, yeah, getting yeah. a kill against Beckman is going in the thing my head. It's going to be difficult. Yeah. And uh, another thing that um, might be an equalizer in some ways. Okay, yeah, this is the trampoline to force him uh, from the ledge. He's, um, he does a slide dash with the down down the Gallagher. But, uh... I did not know you can do that. Yeah. And, uh, of okay, course, Ben seeing, hitting the trampoline. some shenanigans. But, uh, yeah. One thing I was, I was trying to say earlier is uh, Sonic does have a potential to use his trampoline to bounce the trampoline. Ooh, that was an early kill. Oh, yeah, that, I, think, that. I think that was just an air dodge going into the game, too. But um, but yeah, the thing is like if you're it's a lot. Yes. yes. It's a it's a counter pick. So on Battlefield's counter pick, and if you ban Kalos, it also bans um the cave. But uh, but yeah. So a lot of times Ben will use a second up B to get the ledge. Um, he's just patient, doesn't need to get too close. But if Sonic uses his trampoline, it can bounce on the other trampoline and turn it to change, cause it to change the color. And so if Ben goes for a third one, sometimes it might cause him to uh. Yes, you do. I believe. No coaching. But uh, but yeah, he might try and use that to not only hit Pac-Man but hit the trampoline with his trampoline to try and get it a change of color to make Ben go in a fastball without him expecting. But uh, yeah. So Ben up a game. I should probably switch. All right. Oh, I just got hit update. But uh, yeah. So yeah. Even uh, even Ben, the guy on Winter's Star Grand, is trying to approach a target Sonic, and uh, that's that's exactly where Fudge is feels comfortable. Catches the apple, but uh, he's yeah. Holding on to that for a while because as he has it, Ben can't ne use neutral B, so he could just yeah. use side B throughout yeah. the entire time. Yeah, I remember Ben was so threatening. People were trying to devise random characters just for Ben, and I remember Alec. He thought that he could play. Uh, I think either Isabelle or Villager, and you could pocket it. Uh, and keep it. But if you're holding it in your hand, it prevents them from charging. Yep. But if you pocket it in your pocket, it's fine. So he thought he could just hold it on to the entire match, and then he, see, he plays Ben in the front lane. 30 seconds in, Ben just charges again and quits out. He's like, wait, I did, that did not work how I thought it did. And so people, back in the day, Ben was just so threatening that people were just brainstorming of how to beat this yellow ball of madness. <laughs> yeah, you, you can hear Ben was like, no. Uh, You're literally playing Pac-Man, shut up. Hydrant Chan. Hey, it's okay. Hydrant Chan, working against him, unfortunately, uh, this is so sad. We can get three so bucks, please. Sad. But, uh, but yeah. So, the thing is, like, yeah, it's just fudge. I think he's just not really sure. Yeah, he probably thought that would go through the Hydrant. He's just losing the Hydrant battle all the time. It's like, and the thing is, like, he did, he, he did get a, he did get a Hydrant kill earlier, but, like, it's just like, Ben is, if, if Pac-Man didn't have a Hydrant, this game would be a lot closer. I mean, that goes without saying. But, um, it's like, on paper, the Hydrant shouldn't necessarily work better for Pac-Man. Of course, he gets the, the downward hitbox when he throws it out. That was very strange. Um, with the water. But, uh, you know, once it's on the ground, Pac-Man shouldn't necessarily be better. But Ben is just so much more comfortable. He, he's able to use double fair, fair up air, um, fair in air, whatever. Like, and and the thing is, Fudge just isn't sure of how to get rid of the Hydra. Either he's the laggy option and gets punished afterwards. You know, Ben, he wasn't even shielding when the Hydra was going above him. Whereas, like, if a Hydra's coming at you, you're most likely going to shield. He's like, he knows this from that angle. Um, 
Oh no, Pac-Man is doing good. Oh, no well, get up, the, uh, kill. yeah, the thing is like, uh, you know, he did the, uh, not necessarily hard stuff, but, uh, like, he did something to where, like, you would think a character is more vulnerable, but, uh, I don't know if he uh, I think that was smart from, uh, Fudge to, to let go of that. I didn't even know if he necessarily thought that. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah. Just in general, Ben, super comfortable with the, with the, uh, with the hydrant. And, uh, we do see a potential, uh, yeah, okay, we're seeing Ben, a user grab in the corner. He was grabbing on the platform earlier because trying to, uh, uh, uh jump, yeah. But the platform goes away. And, uh, okay, yeah. And when Ben's on the ledge, he's not able to, uh, punish the, uh, the like punch, punch has his number right now. Yeah, it's, uh, but of course, that can all change real quick. Uh, but Ben gets a kill. Yeah, and gets a hydrant. But, uh, well, it's gonna see, change yeah, quick, it's bouncing. It's gonna change in three and a half minutes. Yeah, and I think it's like, of course, this oh, is threatening. Yeah, he uses a uh, key out of hit stun, not too bad. But, yeah, I think the the slow. Apparently not. Yeah, well, it's like it's just a timing thing where it's like a lot of times um, you expect it to come faster than it actually is, and uh, unfortunately he misses that. But he still has a solid percent lead. Um, Close it up. Yeah, you don't see the up throw. A lot of times you see four throw out of shield, four throw from ledge with the Galaga. But hey, he's doing okay. And uh, okay, the, the water pushing a little bit. Yeah, we that almost break the shield. You need frames. to be careful. It's like yeah, earlier in the last set he was going for spot dodges um, against the uh, the, the, the Sonic Interview, and he actually got a pretty early punish against that. But uh, but yeah, and so this we have to see a little bit of faster uh, gameplay recently. Of course, you know, uh, Fudge still has a lot of percentage to go before he gets, gets killed. But, uh, a good bear out of this, like, yeah. And the classic Hydrant, so you're able to put it out there, and, uh, yeah, I think it's just, like, Fudge is just kind of scary. He's, like, he's not really sure, like, what's gonna break Hydrant, what's not. Okay, that bear it's, it's, is killing. Yeah, and Ben gets close to percent, but still Fudge has a, has a percent and stock lead. So, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and Fudge tried to break the, it back before he takes damage. Yeah, the, the big high uh, Galaga Pusha combo it doesn't get as much, but it's still enough to do pretty well. And you know, if he gets a, a bell into a smash pack, or eventually a bear, that's going to even it up pretty quickly. The thing is, uh, Fudge playing pretty patient. Yeah, and the thing is, approaching the, the hydrant is well, pretty catch risky. The bell for yeah. um, Fudge grabbing it. Yeah, that's that's a really solid option. Just, Anything but roll, if you use it immediately, is going to get caught by that, and Ben is able to catch that pretty quick. Bell on a smash attack. I called it. But anyway. Yeah, and Fudge not getting punished, but it's like he's like, all I know for sure that's going to kill or get rid of this hydrant is this my forward smash. Fortunately, not the laggiest option, but if Ben's close enough, he's gonna punish it. Okay, goes threads the needle to get that uh get that follow-up. And he gets the back air, so he's getting some more percent. But uh, unfortunately, he doesn't quite get it, and Ben puts down the hydrant again. And we've it's, seen Ben in these situations where he's came out on time. Both of time. Yeah. Might, might end up changing today. Yeah, I, I think it's like, Pac-Man doesn't necessarily have a ton of um, comeback potential with his and I was on correct. His, yeah. Okay, pretty solid back air there. I think uh, just putting it out there, Ben probably not expecting Sonic to be in that position with that back air, but uh, pretty solid. Is literally inside Sonic. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what you would think of it if it's sending the other way? But, yeah, that, that. I'm not in a row. Ben, if you're selecting but, this long, select bomb mission. But uh, but yeah, I think uh, Fudge knows the 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 road he has ahead of him, and it's not easy. I must say, Final it's uh, it can be pretty tough. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start uploading this. I forgot about the VODs. You know how it'd be. You gotta get this VODs up on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you can drop friends. What about the program we're running? Huh? Sometimes if you put other stuff in there, you end up causing the stuff. Okay, I guess I'll do that later. Yeah, typically we're not streaming from mine when I do this, I guess, but anyway. So we have... I unplugged it. That's what it's like. Anyway, okay, so... Uh, so FD has been a pretty common pick 
um, from these past few matchups. It's just a, it's a polarizing stage, not necessarily about much in this game, but uh, is enough to limit a, a escape options because they have to land on the stage or go off stage. And they can't land on platform and get a show up real quick. Uh, certain characters punish better on platforms, so I don't know. I think it's just uh. Uh, is it Ben surprisingly going to be against Sonic? Maybe you think I'd see this. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I, I, I think feel, he went this because he went and looked, he went FD against him earlier and won. I think? Or was that PS2? I, I don't necessarily remember. But uh, I think it's like, you know what, I think maybe this is a little bit of a cover thing for Ben. Um, oh no, that was, um, that was Fudge and Savage. Yeah, probably. It's like, you know what, he's, uh, like, certain, uh, uh, certain stages it's harder to get up the uh, hydrants, um, like uh, triplats. He has to thread the needle through the top platform and the side platform to get a hydrant on stage. And of course, he can do it if he's below the platforms. But for this, the hydrant it impacts a lot. I think hydrant is just a huge thing that Fudge has been losing. I, I feel like a broken record. Sorry, Fudge. But like, like uh, the, the the biggest weakness that Fudge is showing is is the hydrant. And I think this is a very polarizing thing for the hydrant, so maybe that's the reason. It's like I'm forcing him to have to play around this. It's like he's just boom. He puts it up, and okay, he does get around it. Nice not not nice too bad. Killing. One more bad throw. That was solid. <laughs> it's like he's, I'm gonna smash it back the other way. But it's like just because, or just right as you get rid of one hydrant, another takes his place soon after. And uh, okay, oh, yeah. good roll. Yeah, and well, doesn't catch does, of the roll over there. And good place yeah. to translate the Yeah, I missed time to, I think he was a little disappointed by that. Um, sets it up. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite get it. Um, I wonder if a fudge did not put hydrant there. Or, uh, sorry, not hydrant. But up B. He does get the back air, so it's cool. Okay, yeah. And the thing is, like, that trampoline is good for getting rid of someone's invincibility. But Ben is fine, because he's going to charge. Um, he's going to the melon. Yeah, he's going to charge fruit anyway most of the time. Yeah. Okay, tries to use a, a downer back on stage, but Fudge is being really patient. And uh, so yeah, this this melon isn't necessarily going to be used by Sonic. It's just going to be held by Sonic. He's going to be using his, his B moves because B moves don't get rid of projectiles uh, be, that are held and are held out. I guess <laughs> so he's like, bye bye. I'm going to go across the screen now. And uh, shield. Yeah. And so he tries to get a spot dodge, but Fudge. Uh, it's it's like if you're following the stage with a counter. Person try to stretch for a while. It's like, like it, it, um, potential, well, potentially it could be a read, but a lot of times they're probably just gonna wait. But uh, but anyway, okay, yeah. So Fudge actually looking pretty solid here, but uh, uh my co-commentator actually yawning right now, so you can tell how exciting this match is right now. It's 10:30 in the morning. Ten thirty in the morning. Ten thirty. That's how tired. I am. Yeah. There we go. Fair enough. But I'm sure this match is quite healthy. Gets the back into much. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if this match was twelve hours. But, uh, okay, so he gets, yeah, just being, being patient. I think uh, Ben is fine if, if this kind of gets close to time. Um, so he's not necessarily having to approach right now. Good placement with the high jump. Yeah, yeah. Up yeah, okay, tries to catch up with Sonic so fast. Well, now he gets the parry, so yeah. if he didn't, okay. that was a broken Double shield. pair, kind of scary. He doesn't try to get the third one, though. Um, but, yeah, that's one thing to wear. Pac-Man has really good aerials. He can get some low percent combos. Uh, yeah, and now he's just going to play patient, um, trying to use the Galaga. And he was getting Galaga pretty good against Fudge, but now Fudge kind of getting out of it a lot of times. And that was, uh, the thing is, it's like, wow, it's up to edge guard Pac-Man. He has really good recovery, but also he has hitboxes a little bit. Yeah, yeah, the side B uh, is pretty strong. Pretty strong. And, uh, but yeah, he was it up. Like, okay, it's tied right now, and he was winning, so he, on paper he should be good to do this, but he would have loved to have an extra stop. And he was at 70, or something like that, and so he certainly could have been in the spot. But he goes the upper up air. Not bad. Okay. Oh, it takes a yeah. quarter ride. Yeah, if he got that last bear, it could have been a lot more dangerous. Bad right now. He's in the lead by percent. But, so. Okay. Oh, the spring hit there the trampoline. Go. I was saying it. It, it was on the table, and was was Fudge going for that? I don't know. I think he was just trying to get back to stage, but he got it. He can't fault him there. He gets it. And so now he's in a potential set winning position. Now, Ben, he's not going to let this go very easily. I believe it was 3-0 in terms of games versus the Pac-Man. Um, so, Ben is certainly favored. 
Ben is certainly favored um, each game, I would say. But Fudge being up two games, he's okay, looking pretty solid. Yeah, yeah I, I think I was saying earlier, both these guys are probably very inexperienced in this matchup. I would say Ben's packing is a harder nut to crack, but also Ben has to figure it out. Okay, very solid choice there. But uh, yeah, I don't predict any carrier changes. I think maybe some skin changes here and there. I know Ben's Same. Ben, uh, the best music. It's not the best in my opinion. It is. <laughs> it's not. A, it's not an opinion. It is a fact, and I will die with that. Very, very passionate opinions here coming from the commentator booth. But uh, okay, yeah, and that's one thing we haven't seen. Uh, ben, he's like, you know what? I should use Smooth Man. I'm gonna use it. And the, and like, he'll use it. He'll jump from ledge, use Nair. He'll do Nair out of shield. And he's just uh, he's he's going for the uh, any percent. Uh, down air on spring record right now. He's, he's, he's going for every time he's going to be there so much. Yeah. And, and of course, that's not necessarily uh, any kind of optimal gameplay. I think he's just kind of teasing around. And he also puts out hitbox. But, uh, but yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so. Side hitbox. Okay. I was, I was kind of saying earlier, it's. The high jump's gonna be a, a lot less um, of impactful on the stage because if he does a high hydrant, he has to. Uh, Weave it, either put it on the edge of the stage, put it on a platform, which is probably not going to be very important. Put, weave it in between the uh, may not be the, able the, the to, but Ben has more combo potential here and kill potential on Dyer um, Maybe. I know he, he can use up tilt to extend on uh, platforms, but I don't think the top platform is just going well, to go into the because of Bell up smash. Yeah, but that's not necessarily oh, something that changes based on uh, uh, stages. I feel, like. I feel like that's always on the table. Um, and so it's like a top platform isn't necessarily going to help Pac-Man's combo game. It's going to hurt his ability to hide as well. Because, yeah, see, it's like it's on it's on this, the platform, so it's not going to do that much. But it does help. But the thing is, like... I mean, it's always helpful to have it out, but it's just the, not as good. And the biggest reason why Ben likes to stage against Sonic because he can place Hydrant in physical, where he can easily get away and charge neutral B, and he can easily evade Sonic to play more patient, especially with that top platform. PS2 and small battlefield did not allow that. And oh, that was really weird. Yeah, it is a good point. I, I Ben, this is Ben's counterfeit, so maybe it's uh, uh I, I forgot it was Ben a counterfeit. Because yeah, um, when I played on Pac Man when when I was just like really my secondary, I would always go battlefield because the invasion with that character is just way too good. Yeah, I suppose it's, it has some. Okay, actually, it's behind him there. Um, mixes up the uh, the landing with the aerial. But yeah, okay. And yep, zero to forty from Ledge with Galaga. That's something to it. But just like it's like uh, Fudge, you probably should be hit, be hit by that again. Just saying. But uh, hey, I mean. Honestly, I, I always say whenever I'm watching Ben play, but I probably get hit by it the next time I'll play. So that's just how it goes. And catches it, goes way off stage, deep sea diving with the four there. But uh, good stuff. <laughs> he just he's like, you know what? I don't care if I'm like I have this, this invincibility. I could attack you. I'd rather get this free. And uh, like Ben did find his equal water. I think it's like honestly, the stage is not going to be super impactful to where you should go outplay your opponent. Of course, the uh, the outplay gets changed with each, each uh, part of the stage. But I think Ben is just trying to be a little more confident. And the stage is a little bit bigger in some ways. Um, but yeah, he's he's doing solid. Uh, Sense still kind of close. Gets the Nair out of shield. I think he's like trying to remind himself, hey, use Nair more. And uh, it's a pretty solid move. And uh, he's, he's using it pretty well. Gets the runoff back here. We saw that get a kill earlier. Um, oh, yeah. The he, yeah. I, he, that was a good setup. He was doing that attention. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, alright. And, yeah. So, he actually gets a little bit scared of that uh, hyd hydrant towards him right there. Okay, yeah. Gets the. Uh, yeah. So I think uh, Fudge being real patient, not getting scared. A lot of times, if you're worried about something coming towards you, you roll from ledge, and he's able to do a neutral get up because it has very little vulnerability. Yeah, yeah Fudge a little frustrated by that. I think it's just like the longer you play, the more you're unlike, you're more, the more likely you're gonna mess something up. Who gets the down smash and the hydrant? Um, I just remember this: if Fudge wins this, it's a bracket reset, it's a best of five again. Yeah, that, that's that's the biggest thing. 
Ooh, that's a, a little bit, uh, a little bit of a custom combo there from Ben. And he's he's been really working on his uh, up tilt combo extensions. He really wants to do that. I think uh, he, he saw that um, either I think a, a T bot um, to where um, even though the, uh, the up tilt from Hackman isn't very big. It can catch a platform all the time, and it's a pretty well, exciting jump. jump. Yeah, like Pac-Man has a wall jump. Here. Pretty silly. But uh, hey, yeah, he uses the orange to, to put it out there pretty straight. But hey, this is quite get it. But the thing is, it's not a huge waste because you can just get another one right there. And a lot of times, you'll use a quick one. Um, the orange is actually pretty fast, too. It's only the third one, I believe. So he's able to put that out pretty fast. So it's a lot of times, you know, an apple would, would get close to killing this, this percent, but he doesn't need to go for it. He can just save it for later, put out a quick fruit, um, or he can even use fruit. He can use four tilt, use four air, something like that. And ooh, that's scary. He can throw it out of shields. And yeah, misses, misses with the bounce if he was a little close to my hit. But uh, hey, I think he's still in an okay spot. Oh, I thought there was up there enough to get hit by the squid. You know, I think Ben might have been trying to bait a little bit with that grab. Right um, now, almost anything right now could potentially kill the Sonic. Yeah, okay. It's, it's a, a side beat and falling up there. Or a, a rising up there. But uh, yeah, it gets away from that a apple. You gotta be careful for the turn. Surprisingly, Ben not going for the time though. I mean, I think it's on the table. And uh, and he's just playing. He doesn't have to play that differently. Like, he's, he's already not playing super, super aggressive. He's just playing the same way, and he's kind of, he's able to be comfortable enough to charge projectile, and uh, and he's forcing uh, Fudge to approach. That's one thing, like, he doesn't have to approach. He can throw yeah, stuff out, he gets another one. Yeah, and like, he's probably not gonna go to time, but Ben's in a favorable position. Yeah, you're right, yep. he gets hit by, oh wait, oh my God. There we go, the apple. It's definitely killing at, uh, at a percent. And now we have game five. The thing is, we were saying that how a second set would be really tough, he has to get to that first. Ben, putting it at 2-2, two -two, um, Fudge does have the counter pick, but you kind of get down um, to, for these stages. It's, it's hard, it's, you're not going to have polarizing counter picks. Isn't that set start at 10 p.m.? I don't think so. I think it was like 10-20. Or uh, something like that. Some chat. Ah. Yeah, this being one of our longer streams, we had a, 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 I think we've had 10 people show up s several times back to back to back. And so now we have 16, we're able to do a little bit bigger of a bracket, so that's kind of nice. It did last a while, I but think. But nothing compares to the one where it played out so long ago, I had a pretty sweet sauce Yeah, uh, Dorm Grands, Ben being a mini of uh, time, him having to play Dorm Grands. But, uh, but yeah. the PS2, the state that they originally started on. Okay, gets a double up there, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, with modified DSR, this becomes back on the table. Uh, and so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he's able to throw the Galaga, and uh, he, he's like, you know what, I'm not going to try to use a Hydrant, I'm just going to wait for it to go away. Ben's probably pretty comfortable with the timing of Hydrant. Um, and, okay, yeah. But Fudge, getting a lot of percent on. We haven't really seen Fudge come up the gate this strong in a lot of these games. But uh, he's having a solid percent lead. The thing is, is he going to get the kill first? That's, that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, and it's even, pretty much. It's a, a, a nice combo from Ben. Getting some low percent combos with Pac Man is a really great equalizer. And yeah. So, putting out Hydrant. The thing is, it's like, yeah, in the lag of the Hydrant, Ben just like, it's going to go around you. And I think Fudge needs to be a little bit more selective with how he looks like. Like you can use certain things to send it upwards. And you see Ben mix up the angle with either a fair fair, a fair up air, or whatever. And very strange uh, off stage scenarios. They're both back on. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to try and get back in this. But, uh, but yeah. And ooh. Yeah, that's going to throw out a shield. That is a pretty fast off. Any, any character that has a. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's, that's also pretty good too. Yeah, it works. Hey, he's uh, It works some of the time, all of the time. Yeah, and because uh, like I think neutral get up is actually one of the more more used options because it's so fast and it's hard to punish. But a lot of people will, will practice trying to punish that, and I think Fudge is pretty good at punishing it. And uh, but he's not going to overextend a lot of the times. Um, okay, he's uh, he's in the percent lead again, so looking solid. But ooh, falling there, misses the second pair, but he's uh, able to do it pretty well. And 
Ninja. Alright, so. Pretty even. Um, it's not looking super like it's coming home at the time, but it certainly is always on the table, especially with these two characters. And, ooh, that was pretty close to killing, even from this stage. But yeah, Ben is pretty comfortable uh, taking a long time to get back. He's like, you know what, I don't really have to, like, spam recovery options, because I don't need to. I'm packing. I can, I can charge low, I can use my crazy side B. Even if he had one of them, it would be a good recovery, but he has both. And so it's just, that's, that's a big thing. It's like, hey, if it was a character that uh, was able to be edge rider pretty easily, I'd say Ben would be a lot more beatable. But with a, a slow projectile character with a good recovery, it's just so many times you have to get a read, so many times you have to constantly put him off stage to get more and more damage until eventually you get him off stage. And a lot of times you just choose wrong. And that's a big thing. Like, okay, so he probably meant to go for a read on the bell there, but uh, lots of crazy mix up there. Uh, I can't follow up with that. Yeah. Ooh. There's Kelly? Yeah, I think that was... Uh, that has to be GI. Well, well, I think he was so... He wasn't expecting that. The thing is, like, I think he did a drop down up that's each Kelly, turn So it's pretty much equal. One stock each. Is either Ben going to win the tournament? Uh, or is don't Fudge... get hit by... Oh, no. Okay. Or is Fudge going to reset Ooh, the bracket? Why'd you practice? do it, man? Uh-oh. Well, right now, we're probably not going to see a kill, but that's a lot of damage. I mean, Phil Swift, Marcus, get in there. They both came back in situations like these, like both can usually do it. Yeah, and so Ben is able to do, he can do a double fair approach, but he also does a fair well, jump there, hydrant. Then there, yeah, he just didn't even have that. And just so many makes that Ben has. Now Fudge is getting, able to get through some of them, but probably not enough. And let's see, yep. Yeah. Ben's just comfortable, he's like, you know what, I know, I know that's not going to hit me. He's like, he doesn't go for a bear, because it's probably not going to kill. And some kind of weird uh, hitbox trade or something. Yeah, puts oh, out, puts out the bear. That's, uh, if... Uh-oh, gotta be scary there. Yeah, okay, the air dodge onto the uh, trampoline, a little bit interesting there. But, uh... Yeah, the double fair drops it out of the first one. And it probably didn't mean to side be that way, uh, but I, uh, I mean you never know, I guess. I, I think he maybe went to. Uh, I think Ben's gonna finish it Ben's way. Fair enough. But uh, maybe went for a fruit and just kind of uh, disabled it. But I think he's gonna have uh, a time out of good old days. A good old days being too bad. Yeah. I mean, at 167, do you really need? I feel like you make yourself more nervous if you go for the timeout. Oh time my god. 182. He's gonna kill. Um, getting closer with, he gets closer with the side beat, then just runs, runs away. Alright. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Close, close to the, oh, that, that up, he could have, never mind, it's over. Yeah, the back air, a very generous hitbox there, but still pretty solid from Ben. He gets a good win, but not an unscathed win. Fudge doing really well that last set, uh, being up 2-1. Oh, but, uh, yeah. Um, ben, you can't talk shit about Sonic anymore. Why not? They, they, yeah, that's why. You can't, you can't talk shit about Sonic. I mean, like he has the freedom to do whatever he wants, but... Sonic still carries...